The robots have arrived, at least in Pasadena, California. That's where the world's first ever fully autonomous AI-powered restaurant has opened, complete with burger-flipping bots. We sent CBS's Joy Benedict on a taste test. Flippy the chef makes Spud spectacular. This automated grill gives the meat its sizzle as this restaurant goes robotic. For this burger, it will take about 120 seconds. Cali Express by Flippy is the world's first AI-powered eatery. There's new technology outside the kitchen, too. A cheeseburger. Order kiosks use facial recognition to remember you, your but favorite no food, sauce. and how you like to it. pay. Then watch the robots work. No humans required. We can't get enough people to come out to work on fryers and, and grills and their dangerous jobs. And this uh, automation helps solve a lot of those issues. Hello, I have someone? Sixty-two percent of restaurants report being understaffed. Industry experts say most of those unfilled jobs could be done by robots. And in California, where the minimum wage for most fast food workers will soon be $20 an hour, fewer workers <coughs> equals cost savings. Dan Ives is with Wedbush Securities, a wealth management firm. Once the minimum wage went to 20, that's the bell going off. More and more focus on spending on AI. Well, the robots have arrived. All right. Hey, Shalom. Shalom. World's first ever. All right. Before I begin this lesson, of course, I want to give all praises, all glory and honor. To Yahweh, Bahashim, Yahweh Shai, Bahashim, and Kakodash. Also, I want to give double honors to the apostles and the elders of Great Millstone that do rule and teach well. And as always, peace, love, and many blessings unto the elect, starting with the 144,000 and the one third. All right, this is your brother Atazawan, coming back through the spirit and power of Yahweh, Bahashim, Yahweh Shai, with another lesson. Lord willing, I do hope and pray that it's edifying. So I just played this video clip that was sent to me <clears throat> by one of the beloved brothers. And uh, it really just shows that. Everything is uh, progressing uh, and, and being forwarded to artificial intelligence, uh, which is going to lead to the MOTB. OK, now you're going to start to see uh, a lot of this autonomous machinery being placed in through our various uh, restaurants and stores in America. If you're not, if you haven't seen it by now, OK, if you go to a lot of these smart cities, you know, like Los Angeles, you know, Dallas, Houston, Chicago, Atlanta, Miami, New York, so on and so forth. And you go into these inner cities, you'll you'll begin to see that these cities are teched out. OK, now you have other, you know, smaller cities or rural areas throughout America who may not have progressed to this technology yet. But you'll begin to see more and more being uh, established throughout America because the ultimate goal by the elite with the international banking families is to get everybody, um, you know, pretty much um, pricked, okay? They want everybody to take that MOTB. So you're starting to see them transition over to that um, system, the image, okay? And also what it's going to lead to is a decline in jobs, okay? Because you heard what the guy said who owns this particular burger spot, Cali Express, he said, you know, working in a fast food restaurant is a dangerous job. And, you know, a lot of people don't want to work with machinery and hot grease and stoves. So they're not getting a um, a lot of people who want to apply for these jobs, which is a, a bullshit excuse. OK, really what they're trying to do is they're trying to cut costs. OK, they're trying to stop from paying these workers because they invest in this machinery. OK, and this uh, artificial intelligence machinery then what the, what happens is they alleviate um, hundreds of thousands of dollars being paid to these workers, all right, which is going to make the company profit more. So we're seeing a transition of the systems, man, okay? And this thing is going to get bad for the inhabitants of America very soon, okay? I want to get into the scriptures. This is the book of Ecclesiastes 12 and 4. And the door shall be shut in the streets. When the sound of the grinding is low, because there's going to come upon a time where work is going to be scarce. OK, we're, we're headed face first into dangerous times, turbulent situations. So the doors in, in the street shall be shut. A lot of people are going to board up their businesses. But prior to that, you're going to start to see a shift in how these businesses are operating. I went I actually went to a business 
earlier, a restaurant earlier, you know, when I got off work, I just swung by there to get me something to snack on. And, um, you know, when I pull up, you know, you see that it, it says, um, you know, we are no longer accepting cash for security purposes. Okay. So you're already seeing that these businesses are switching over to a digital um, trading system. Okay. The physical trading of, of hand-to-hand interactions is, is, is coming to an end. So all this is a lead up. Okay. It says when the grind, when the sound of the grinding is low and he shall rise up at the voice of the bird and all the daughters of music shall be brought low. Now let's get this scripture in the NLT. All right. It says, remember him before the doors to life's opportunities is closed. Okay. That's why the scriptures tell us not to make ourselves for this world. Because the opportunities that this world is providing towards the people right now are not going to be so in the near future. Okay. It says, now you rise at the first chirping of the birds. No, I'm sorry. I didn't read that, that second part. I'm going to read it again. It says, remember him before the door to life's opportunities is closed and the sound of work fades. Okay. So the, the sound of working, okay, you know, that 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 sound of, you know, hammering nails, you know, uh, you know, all these different trucks. OK, just on a daily basis, you're hearing, you know, the grind. OK, but the sound of work is going to fade. The earth is going to get quieter and everything is pretty much going to be housed on a digital system. OK. Because everything is transitioning over to the fourth industrial revolution, which is what? Which is uh, AI and the Internet of Things. OK. Which is why you're able to connect your phone to your TV. You're able to connect your phone to your, your computer. You're able to purchase things, um, you know, uh, uh, from your phone. I remember when there was no such thing as paying with a phone. That wasn't even too long ago. It was a couple years ago. OK, now all of a sudden you're able to go into a store and you can use your phone like it's a goddamn debit card. OK. So things are shifting. All right. Things are shifting. Now, let me get another scripture and close it out. You know, it's, uh, Isaiah 19. I'm going to start at verse 14. It says the Lord have mingled a perverse spirit in the midst thereof. OK, so the spirit here in America is a perverse spirit. OK, everything is turned upside down and everything is pretty much going in a way which is against Yahweh Basham al So it's perverse. All right. When you dig into that word perverse, it goes into wicked. But it also when you go down, it goes into diversity. OK. And diversity leads to confusion because, you know, you look here in America and, and, and America is a fused a confused country. Their inception is, is, is full of confusion and wickedness. So that, that perverse spirit is mingled in the midst of Egypt. It says, and they have caused Egypt to err in every work as a drunken man staggering in his vomit. So Egypt is America. Okay. Modern day Egypt is America. Or I'm sorry. Modern day America is ancient Egypt, you know, uh, pretty much coming back. OK, because they adopted the same ways, cultures and customs that the ancient Egyptians did. And they have the Israelites in captivity. So this place is perverted. Verse 15 is a point which says, neither shall there be any work for Egypt, which the head or tail branch or rush may do. So it's not going to be any work very soon. And you see that they're transitioning over to that phase of life. So how the hell are you going to buy a burger if you ain't got a job. So pretty much it's, it's really going to hurt the whole of America. Because the Lord created man to, to work. The, the scriptures tell you not to hate laborous work. Okay? And to work with your hands. Whatever thy hand findest to do, do it with all thy might. So man was created to work. Man was created to produce and to create. Okay? And to labor. Man wasn't created to, to be lazy and to be slugger and slothful, okay, to be procrastinating. So when they when they come with this when they come with this AI technology, it's pretty much making people lazy. 
Okay? You can keep your digital ID on your phone. You can keep your debit cards, credit cards. So pretty much it's making everybody lazy-minded. Okay? And eventually it's going to lead. Hey, well, to be honest, we already pretty much in a recession. Okay? But anyway, you know, I just wanted to do that quick lesson real quick, you know, on that video that was sent to me, you know, which is important because like we always say here at Great Millstone, you know, we have the proper and correct breakdown of the MOTB. A lot of these other camps have pretty much mangled that breakdown. So there's more evidence to show that this thing is leading into uh, 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 that phase very soon. So, Lord willing, that was an edifying lesson. I'm going to give all praises to Yahweh Basham, Yahweh Shai, Basham, and Kakodash. Double honors once again to the apostles and the elders of Great Millstone. Honors and blessings to the elect. Shalom.